BioRails for DMPK, a single workflow from request through data analysis to reporting results, all in one system. This is a demonstration of the microzone stability assay run in BioRails. I'm logging in as Rodney McKay. He is the chemist responsible for requesting assays to be carried out on samples. I can make a new request from the dashboard. I will be requesting for sample IDs to be part of this assay. I can copy and paste in a list of samples and the system will validate them based on whether the samples are present in the database. I'll be requesting this against the microzone stability assay, but you can request against multiple assays if you wish. Since you can use different species microsomes, you can set this for each sample. In this case, I'm setting rat microsomes for the whole assay. Repeats are automatically deselected, but you can select them to run again. Now that the request is complete, I can sign out as Rodney McKay. I will now be signing in as Samantha Carter. She is the DMPK manager responsible for organizing the DMPK lab's work. I look up the microsome stability queue to see the new items on the queue. Selecting the new items allows me to put them into a work task. I set the items to active so that Rodney knows that they are being worked on. I then create a new task which I will assign to the bench scientist Janet Fraser. The completed task contains all of the details and settings required to carry out the assay. I can now log out as Samantha Carter and log in as Janet Fraser. Janet's dashboard shows all the tasks that need to be carried out. The task sheet shows all of the details that are required and the analysis binder in Morphit can be launched directly from the web page. The samples and settings are synchronized between the web service and the binder. I can first check the settings and then import raw data from an instrument file, in this case a mass spectrometry file. The data is then organized and processed by Morphit. including automatic knockouts. I can now inspect the full analysis of the data, including making any changes to the analysis required. The results are organized in, in a color-coded table, and the contents of this table are what will be uploaded to BioRails, as well as the charts. The table in BioRails has been set up to capture all of the endpoint data of the assay. All intermediate data is stored as a file on the server. Refreshing the page shows that all of the data from the binder has been uploaded, including the charts. I can now log out as Janet Fraser and log back in as Samantha Carter. She will be checking up on the progress of the assay. Managing the queue lets you check that the active samples are being worked on and what results there are for them. 
there is a link to the result task. All of the data here can be exported in a variety of formats. You can also use a query to look at all of the historical results of the assay. Specific samples can be searched for and samples can be ranked by their results. This has been BioRAS for DMPK, Microsome Stability Assay.